Right, so Keir Starmer can't seem to even let the Tories ruin themselves with their own conference fallout without taking the heat off them with idiocy of his own, as he has proven beyond all doubt that the claims that deselections of sitting MPs and socialist candidates and takeovers of local constituency Labour parties are necessary in order to deliver the highest quality candidates are complete nonsense. Nothing quite gives that away, like a healthy dose of nepotism, not even parachuting a candidate in from one end of the country to the other, although that is exactly what is happening here in this instance too, because selected to stand for Labour in the seat of Stockton West in County Durham is the London-based boyfriend of Shadow Health Secretary Wes Streeting. Right, so Labour parliamentary selection processes. There's been more rigging going on there than in the tall ships race, hasn't there? But the convenience of West Streeting's partner, Joe Dancy, being selected to stand for the northeastern seat of Stockton West, a new seat being created by boundary changes, is pretty much as on the nose as you can possibly get here. If you Google search this guy, you pretty much just get wall-to-wall -wall West Streeting stories, so it's not exactly a well-kept secret here. But it means there's not a lot known about his partner himself. Not that a great deal more is needed to be known for people to think, well, this stinks worse than weak old fish. When the partner of a sitting right-wing Starmer Loyalist MP gets picked for a seat miles away from where they're based. Strap on that parachute and fly, son! Fly! Well, first, let's get one thing out of the way in regards to this. Dancy grew up in this constituency, so there is a connection there. But he left. He apparently works as a political consultant. He's certainly listed as a director of PR at strategy firm Endeavour Advisory Limited, based in London. And although he claims to divide his time between London and the North East, he owns a house with streeting in the capital. So that is where he is based, and presumably where he would remain, should he be elected. Streeting is a London MP. I would imagine political consultancy is certainly more in demand in London than in Stockton. Would he have to give that up, perhaps? Is he under pressure to end his second job, as it would be, in Starmer's regime, should he be elected? Well, can you imagine people second jobbing under Keir Starmer? Well, I never. At any rate, so how is his time is divided, as Dancy claims it to be, between London and the North East, is an open question. It'd be one heck of a commute to work, though, if he became the Stockton West MP, wouldn't it? The only article I have found in a cursory Google search referring to Dancy actually being in the Northeast doing something was a 2012 article where he was involved in the organizing of the 2012 Olympic Games, working as an executive assistant to Tory Lord Sebastian Coe, and Dancy happened to visit a Teesside school as part of that covered by local paper. Dancy was also apparently a former special advisor to the Prince of Darkness and buddy of child sex trafficker Jeffrey Epstein, Peter Mandelson. Yes, he's up in the story again as well. He's involved, is he not? Does he not always have sticky fingers in many, many, too many pies when it comes to Labour these days? Mandelson's still inexplicably an advisor to Keir Starmer as he is, but then unless the mainstream press are screaming about it, people won't demand answers about such things. And right now, with Starmer seemingly the chosen one by establishment interests, once again, that easy ride the media love to give him, he's not being troubled by things like Mandelson still being on his payroll, which should have people asking quite justifiable questions about that. But aside from anything else, Dancy is without doubt yet another right winger, yet another Starmer loyalist with connections such as these, another yes man who will do as he is told and vote accordingly. Now, Stockton West being a new constituency, there isn't as such a local Labour CLP involved here, because the changes happening to the seat are great enough that regional and national Labour Party involvement has presumably taken place here, taken over, as rules permit. Even so, I was looking for some kind of local outcry. I took to the Stockton South Labour Twitter account. It's Stockton South that is going to become Stockton West, by and large, with the changes that are happening. That's the current constituency that's going to disappear. And they don't appear to have posted anything since 2020. Their Facebook page is a little better. The only post since June being the announcement of their new PPC Joe Dancy, shared by all of eight people, as it was. Dancy was shortlisted for the position, along with just one other person, Emma Scott Spivy, who was Labour's former candidate for the post of North Yorkshire Police and Crime Commissioner. She's a student paramedic who has also tried to get selected for the constituency of York Outer. So she must be feeling delighted to have been overlooked in favour of London-based West Streeting's boyfriend. However, equally, the Labour members of Stockton West must be delighted they got the choice between a York-based woman, such as she, or London-based candidate, uh, such as West Streeting's partner, to choose from. 
Michael Crick, who runs the Tomorrow's MPs account on Twitter, has remarked that this habit of shortlisting candidates down to just two, as has happened here, is becoming more and more common, not least of which to ensure strong contenders are kept out. And he said that in relation to this particular selection, which prompted me to look back a little bit more. And, well, there were shenanigans, it seems. Nominations for the seat opened on the 24th of August, and three other people who had initially thrown their hats in the ring for this selection uh, were failed, basically, before they got to that short, short, short listing uh, protest, uh, point. Uh, and one of those, notably, was Hartlepool by-election candidate Dr Paul Williams. You might remember the Hartlepool by-election. He of favourite Tory MILF fame, as he became known. He didn't make the cut for Stockton at all, presumably because he failed in Hartlepool. But the other two candidates were more interesting and more to the point local. By early September, they hadn't had enough candidates put themselves forward for this seat, so more people were encouraged to apply. Local distiller Jay Byers was one who answered the call, only to be told later on at the shortlisting stage that he wasn't the right type. Well, that's a nice thing to say to one of your own members, isn't it? He collects for charity, he's a local businessman, and the shortlist being reduced to the bare minimum of two, and given who those two were, sounds like a fix. The other potential, a guy called Pete Bowyer, stood down after getting ripped to bits for encouraging people to vote for the Lib Dems and Change UK to bring down Corbyn. Frankly, you'd think there would be a shortlisting guarantee for Team Keith, but he didn't stay in the race to find out. He's voiced his support for Joe Dancy on Facebook, though, which says it all. Local objection has been muted, it would appear. Starmer has imposed another loyalist on another constituency, loose local connection notwithstanding. It's just the latest example, though, of a longer and longer growing list of the Labour Party being forced in a rightward direction by the Red Tory leadership and imposing candidates they deem suitable. What do you think, though? Will it be Starmer's wife for somebody imposed somewhere next? They seem to be getting more and more blatant in their cronyism. And, of course, it's not getting picked up by our mainstream media. They are ignoring it. So where will it end other than no representation for the left in the Labour Party anymore at all? Take my advice. Go Green. You're allowed to be a rotten lefty and a socialist with them. That's where I'd be putting my vote in Stockton West for sure now. But do let me know your thoughts on this story in the comments below and be part of the conversation. Thanks as ever for watching. I hope you found the video useful. Please like, share and subscribe if you did. More content out daily. Meanwhile, here's a video recommendation where if more West Streetings is the answer, then you must be asking the wrong question. A very, very wrong question. But Streeting appears to be the mould election candidates are being cast in these days as shown in another video back in June. And I'll hopefully see you on the next vid. Cheers, folks.